Hello from Izmir. Yes, I am in Izmir now. Now listen to this carefully. Founded by the Greeks. Built by Alexander the Great. Conquered by the Romans and prospered under the Ottoman Empire. Over 4.3 million people live here and it's the third largest city in Turkey, Izmir. It's by the Angin Sea. So, my first stop was at the Agora. It's ruins, like all other ruins. I don't even know why I even went there. But it was on my list. It was near my hotel exactly. So because it was on my list, I planted my Google Maps where to go. And it was just there, you know. So what there was there, it's like an open air museum. Ruins of the old city of Izmir showing passages which carried water to the city so nothing exciting nothing new and i would skip it if anybody is watching this and it's coming to izmir unless Turn right onto 1322 unless so you are fascinated with these things which there is lots of them in turkey oh exactly look Always when I'm making a video, they always start praying. I don't mind it at all, eh? I'm not complaining. So, off I go now to see some markets, which is the largest and oldest market in Turkey and in Europe. The clock tower. 1901 the symbol of the city of Izmir it's 82 feet marble stone clock tower and here I am in this square called Konak Square and it tells you go to Konak Square and feed the pigeons and that's what everybody is doing near the clock exactly <laughs> what it says on my papers here here in the same square there is a small mosque that I thought I will film as well because it looks quite nice, small, very central, nice to look at. Kapal Akarsi Market. This is a very old market, which no longer is operating. Most of the shops inside here are closed, but they left it here for the visitors to come and have a look it's still in very very good condition as you can see maybe there's two three four five shops open in here you know but everything else is happening just on the outside now of this place but look how look how nice it looks eh? some shops look Okay, then once you come out of here, you'll find the streets all around it with shops everywhere, you know. But this is the old bazaar market. This is strange, but it's true. When you're watching the video between one place and the, and the other, Sometimes there's only a few meters, you know, <laughs> but it can take you a long time to arrive, you know, because you keep getting distracted and then you ask for the way and you end up in some leather shop. 
they just want to show you, you know. And then maybe stop to buy something. It's, it's just, it's just Turkey, you know. It's how Turkey is. Everywhere full of people, everywhere full of shops. They're always ready to help you when you ask for information. They're always ready to help you, but most of them, they want to take you in some shop. Maybe later you want to buy a leather jacket or, or a handbag or, or, or something like that, you know. <laughs> so this is another place similar to Istanbul. I can notice that there is three entrances just in the same street into this building. I am in the section where they sell the jewelry. I guess if I go around right or left, then they will be selling other things. It's on the same concept. Maybe a little bit narrower, this one. Actually, it is, I think. The ceiling is all like, I don't know, scraped. Like you feel like you're in a cave or something. Mm, same things that you'll find everywhere. They sell, you know. And you keep walking and walking and going around in circles. It's not as busy as the one in Istanbul, but why not? Once I'm here, I'll take a look around as well. So I've got two full days and a half here. Plenty of time for walking. Plenty of time for looking around. Plenty of time to show different things on my video. <laughs> Izmir. This is Izmir. Okay, what I'm showing here is the Khizar Mosque. It's from the 16th century and it's the largest and oldest in Izmir. At the moment it's time for praying, so I won't be able to go in even if I want to. But this is the famous Khizar Mosque in Izmir. Largest and oldest. Okay, here I am walking in Havra Sokaji. It's on my list somewhere I had to be. Until I got here, I was walking through lots of similar streets selling all different things. But the one that they Specifically, when you're reading about this place, specifically, they say, make sure to go to through Havra Sokaji. And that's what I am doing. I like all the streets, wherever I've been. I always find them interesting to see the things they sell in the local. 
they keep wetting the fish, you know. Izmir. No matter how busy the city is, no matter how many millions of people live in, and how much noise and things going on, there's always somewhere where you can go and walk for peace and quiet. And here I am walking in Kultur Park, Izimir. This park has been established since 1936 and it's 420,000 square meters. This park hosts events. There's even like a, a small Luna Park and where people can come and stay a little bit quiet away from all the noise that a, that a, that a big city normally comes with. Of course there is going to be where you can do your jogging. This you can find it almost everywhere in Turkey. Good idea to keep fit and walk around and jog on the soft surface. And this would be one of the main attractions in the park with some rides. It's still closed. You know, I don't know if it opens or if it's closed for the season or if it opens in the evening, I don't know. But it's still in the same park. Okay, this is this street of where my hotel is behind me. And I pass, I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight times so far from here. And there is this guy here. And every time I pass, he has to say something. Look, he's already looking. Look at him. What are you going to say? Huh? What are you going to say? Oh, tough. How? Oh, you must say. Good. Very good. Yes. I know. I know. I that. Good shoes? Ah. Uh, okay. Boya, boya. Boya, boya. Ah. Shusha, shusha. 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 Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Makina, 